So, uh, streamer bot gives you a whole bunch of stuff you can do via these right, uh, via the right click menu. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, especially the OBS one, lots of stuff you can do, but there's, you can actually do even more than this. Like all of these right click menu options are just to make your life easier. So you don't need to know code or whatever, like setting a browser source URL, you know, um, so that's just to make it user friendly for you. But if you really want to get really deep into the weeds and do even more advanced stuff, uh, you can do way more than what StreamerBot offers here. So if you use the OBS raw option, uh, you can send custom commands to OBS to do uh, more stuff. Uh, and if you want to see what that looks like, and again, this is like mostly for coders and whatever. Um, but just to give you give an example of stuff you can do. Did you guys know that uh, this button here, see this button here that says refresh cache of current page? Did you know you could uh, press this button with streamer bot without opening like this window? You could like refresh a browser source. Like you can like programmatically just push this button, but make that as like a, a like really it's like just part of your thing. So if like, if you're making an, uh, a streamer bot action and you want it to refresh a browser source, you can tell streamer bot to press this refresh button for you. So the way to do that is there's actually a thing here. Again, this is nerdy stuff. Um, what is it? Property. Press input properties button. There's a there's actually a thing here called press input properties button that you can that you can put in. Now this is like very nerdy stuff. Okay, most of you probably won't understand what this even means. Uh, but basically, this OBS raw option allows you to use this uh, this little function, right? The problem is like you have to write in some code and you need to know what to type in, and it's like very complicated. So there is this thing called OBS raw, this website, OBS raw, that helps you generate that code for you. So, um, this is like an example of the code that you'd have to shove into streamer bot into the OBS raw box here. So we'll do an example. Let's just say like, uh, you can trigger hotkeys, which is something I just did just then. You can trigger a hotkey. So rather than like having to push the key on your keyboard, you can actually trigger it with this code here. You have to know what the name is for your hotkey, which is like the difficult part is figuring out like what is the name of the hotkey. But yeah, you can you can trigger hotkeys in OBS without ever having to set an actual hotkey like in the settings window. Now, you know, you know how like in the settings window, you have to like set hotkeys up here. You can trigger any of these hotkeys without actually having to like set a, a key here, which is like really cool, right? I don't I, I don't even need this F12 here. Um, I can get rid of that, but I can trigger this uh, this hotkey and I don't have to actually press it. All I need to do is use this code, right? You can also turn on studio mode. I don't know if that's something you can do in Stream Robot, but if you ever wanted to like turn on studio mode, you can use this code and then you can just like copy it and paste it here. Oop, sorry, I'm gonna set this to WebSocket 5. So if I did that right, press format. If I did it right, it didn't work. So that's, I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> Trigger studio, oh, transition, oops. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Studio mode. Sorry, this is the code. Sorry, I looked at the wrong thing. So if I weren't, if I wanted to turn studio mode on, I could use this code here and I just paste it in here. So I don't actually have to know how to write the code. I just copy it out here. And then I just have to change like this for, to, from true to false. So I'm just gonna set this to true and then I'll click test. So here's my OBS. Studio mode is not enabled. If I click test, now studio mode is enabled. 
so yeah basically you can do more stuff with uh with obs raw again it's like it's a bit it's not something for beginners uh it's a little bit more of an intermediate thing but this website right here helps you make the code for it without you having to type it in I am now going to end this uh, this this topic. So if you like that, I don't know if I'm going to make this a video for the VOD channel. Uh, you can go uh, and subscribe and stuff. Thanks.